All right, hey, what's up everybody? Graph to speechstruggles.com. And in this video, uh, I wanna introduce you guys how to widen up your sound. So um, you do this with um, the Stereo Shaper plugin. So these plugins come free with uh, FL Studio. Um, you know, you can use like uh, the Stereo Shaper, the Stereo Enhancer. I personally think that the Stereo Shaper looks a little cooler. Um, I feel like it gives you a little more flexibility on what you wanna do, but this will do the job for widening as well. You know, you just kind of turn the knob however far you want. Um, too far and um, you're gonna start hearing too much delay, like you'll actually hear it. So I'm gonna turn this on. Um, nothing is going on with the plugin at the moment. I'm just gonna play it and then I'm gonna start increasing it for you guys to hear like the, the actual wideness. So what's cool about this is this plugin makes it sound wider. And how it does that is uh, it delays either like the left or the right speaker by, um, you know, however much that is. So right now I'm at 4.3 milliseconds. So that's a really small number. But if you delay like the right speaker by that much or like the left speaker, it gives it like that really wide sounding feel to it. So if I add in like my kicks and my claps here, um, like the kicks and claps are gonna kind of be in the middle, but then the bongos, they're gonna be like kind of stretched wider. So when listening to myself on speakers, I kind of felt that um, it wasn't a super good example. So I took out a pad here um, just so you guys could really hear the wideness stretch. Now, if you go too wide, it starts to sound thin and then eventually you can kind of get into like really delay. Like, so like uh, the sound will be playing on the right speaker and then it'll keep coming out of the left. And that's when you know you've gone too far. So in this example, we'll do the pad the other way around. So we'll go on the left. I'm gonna go 25 uh, milliseconds to the left delayed. All right, so I'm Gratuitous, this is BeatStruggles.com, and this is how to get some extra wideness out of your sounds. Oh, this is great for like pads. Sometimes I use it for like brass horns and stuff like that. Now something to be aware of, um, if you go too much, so for example, let's just listen to it. So as we heard, um, it was playing on the right speaker and then I, I stopped and then it kept playing on like, the left speaker. So that is because I've gone way too far. Also to point out, if you right click up here, you guys can check out like their presets. Um, these are really cool to learn from. And if you guys hit F1 um, on any single FL Studio plugin, um, they have a help menu. They recommend 20 to 40 milliseconds to kind of get like that wideness sound. So for example, if you're like on your mixer, you hit F1 there's the mixer. You click on the playlist, F1, and it'll explain all about like the playlist and stuff to you. So that is only for like image line plugins, not like uh, third party plugins or anything like that. All right, so if you guys wanna stay up to date on posts and videos, you guys can sign up to the Beat Struggles newsletter. I'll leave that link in the description. Uh, it's free to sign up, plus you guys can get free sounds by Sounds in HD. Again, this is how you can kind of get some extra wideness out of your sounds. Um, this one here is the Stereo Shaper. Um, you guys can try the Stereo Enhancer as well. Again, like I said, I like the Stereo Shaper kind of looks cooler. And if you guys check out the F1 help menu, um, you guys can do mid side mode, which is another way to kind of get wideness and stuff like that. So I hope this video helps you out and I'll talk to you guys later.